Hi guys, this didn't take long, but there's growing disquiet among Tory MPs about Liz Truss, the Prime Minister. And here on Newsnight, one journalist relayed some of the comments that he heard from members of the party. Truss, as I've said before, is in the pocket of these right-wing think tanks who are advising her, and they're pushing policies that are deeply unpopular with the public. Recently, I uploaded a video where a Tory backbencher was clearly angry with the government over the issue of fracking. It must be remembered that MPs value their seats over government policy, and if they see that threatened, they will start sending letters to Sir Graham Brady. One Conservative MP uh, told me, just think of this. The UK Central Bank has intervened to protect the UK economy from the UK government. Uh, and there are beginning to be discussions tonight amongst Conservative MPs about the position of Liz Truss. I spoke to one Conservative MP. This is a known opponent of Liz Truss. And this person said that they know of some Conservative MPs who are beginning to put in letters. Those are the letters that will be calling for a confidence vote, the famous letters to Sir Graham Brady. Uh, others are thinking about it. Others are saying absolutely no point because the party rules say that she couldn't be challenged for 12 months. So, of course, the executive of the 1922 committee is always able to change the rules. Interestingly, another Conservative MP, quite a senior MP, who's not known as a troublemaker, and this person is saying, people, that's Conservative MPs, are now asking, how do we get rid of her? How do we get rid of her? That's really interesting. Um, now, it's important to remember that the confidence, there, there will be two confidence votes, or it's possible to have two confidence votes, one within the party and one in Parliament. Now, Liz Truss could probably get past, uh, win the confidence vote within the party by the skin of her teeth, although it's still very early days and it's very difficult to just, to to decide uh, which way it would swing because we don't, we don't have any figures, we don't know how many letters have been sent in already, we don't really know the support she really has. As I pointed out, you know, many of the policies that she has been pushing so far are deeply unpopular and this you know, the fact that the central bank, the Bank of England, had to intervene to protect the economy from the UK government could, have been, could be the straw that finally breaks the camel's back for many MPs who have been sitting on the fence or holding back. Now, it's important to remember that a confidence vote in the House of Commons is a different thing. We saw it with, um, you know, we saw it in the past where the Tories will rally around the Prime Minister. So it doesn't matter, you know, their vote in the confidence vote, confidence vote within the party, their vote in Parliament will always, or generally always support the Prime Minister because they don't want a general election. They don't want Keir Starmer taking over. So they would prefer to pre protect the party over protecting the country. Um, some MPs may vote against the, the Prime Minister, but it's likely that uh, the party would support her. So the, the Labour Party can't get rid of her. It requires the Conservatives. Now, if there's a vote of confidence within the party and she loses it, then what happens? Well, then it would trigger another campaign. Hopefully this one wouldn't be months long. And who is the primary candidate to replace Liz Truss if that happens? Well, you can probably imagine it would be Boris Johnson. Remember Boris Johnson said on his way out, hasta la vista, baby, or I'll be back in another sense. Um, there has been a campaign to get Boris Johnson back into number 10, and this could be the catalyst to do that. So you would have a situation where Boris Johnson was kicked out, basically, of number 10. Um, he sat on the sidelines waiting for Liz Truss to crash and burn, and then he jumps on board the ship again. Um, now, why would MPs be willing to back Boris Johnson? Well, it comes back to 2019. Many MPs got their seat on the back of getting Brexit done and because Boris Johnson was so charismatic. Liz Truss doesn't have this. And if you're an MP sitting in a constituency with a slim majority, who would you prefer on your team? Liz Truss? and the disaster that has happened you know, within the number of weeks that she's been Prime Minister, or Boris Johnson, which unfortunately, and I have to say this, unfortunately, more and more people are starting to have 
a somewhat nostalgic view of him. Well, things weren't so bad when Boris Johnson was in charge. Oh, let's get Boris back. So if you're a Tory MP and you don't care about the economy, you don't care about cost of living, you don't care about any, any of these things, you only care about holding on to your seat, then you're more inclined to back Boris than back Liz. And it's possible it could go down that road. We're going through very crazy times. It's possible that Boris Johnson could be back in number 10. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.